Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy. Now, of course, you know I'm in Billings, Montana, but around the country, especially the West, there's one thing that you cannot deny, and that's that the grasshoppers are just incredible this year. They're everywhere, and I'm getting a lot of questions. Why do I think that is? Well, I'll tell you, we had a very wet and cool spring, and because of that, it, a lot of the other bugs are doing really well, and what's happening is a lot of the grasshoppers are being displaced, and they're moving to some new areas, and so because of that, we're just having this influx of these incredible bugs and insects, things like stinging insects, bees and wasps, and then of course the grasshoppers. I've got a little grasshopper right here. It's probably going to be pretty hard to see. It's a pretty small guy. But grasshoppers, you know, they are a troublesome animal, but they are so cool. They have some pretty neat features. Now, first of all, I want to talk about something that's on me right now, and I'm going to come close to the camera to see if we can get this. But can you see on my fingernail? And right here, there's that orange goo. Well, that's something that grasshoppers do that a lot of people don't know. They spit on you. In fact, a lot of people believe that's tobacco juice because down in the south, these guys will eat tobacco plants and, well, their spit kind of looks like gross tobacco juice. <laughs> Yuck, disgusting. But they will spit on you as a self-defense. It's harmless. It's not going to bother me, but it's kind of gross knowing my hand is covered in grasshopper juice now. And in the, in the grasshopper world, that's going to repel other insects away from them. And that's, like I said, a self-defense. Now, a couple things about these grasshoppers. Of course, you're going to notice they have three main parts. The head, the thorax, which is the middle part, and then their abdomen, which is that big, long part. Now, as you guys probably know, grasshoppers are known for what? hopping. They have these incredible legs on the back of them that work like catapults. If we could jump as far as a grasshopper could in comparison to our body, you'd be able to leap the length of a football field. You're talking a pretty incredibly strong animal right here. Now, the problem that grasshoppers pose to us humans, crop damage. These guys love to eat fields of vegetation, and that means farm crops. And some of these guys, some of the swarms, and their cousins, the locusts, just as bad, they can swarm in billions, then billions and billions of these bugs or insects. And so what will happen is they will converge on one of these crops and they will just destroy it. In fact, there was a swarm back in the 50s that destroyed 75 square miles of one crop in just a couple days. And so when you get a lot of these guys in the area, it's not a good thing for the agricultural business. And so it's something that we obviously are concerned about. Now, one final thing about these uh, really, really cool bugs that I just think is so neat, uh, besides the fact that they could jump, is that there are 11,000 species of grasshoppers in the world. It's just incredible, and I believe we have over 30 even here in the state of Montana. So when you walk around, you're gonna see them hopping, you're gonna see the flighted ones, some of them can fly. Look at them closely because, again, pretty neat to see up close and personal. We'll be sure to let this guy go once I'm done here. So, guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with my trusty friend Grasshopper Joe here, and we'll see you at the zoo.